I'm Alberta and I'm here with Days and Days, Houston's favorite, me. Okay, so we're here at Pumpkin Droblick. You're back for another time. I know that y'all have played before, but you did it in like different countries. So what is it like playing somewhere so close to your hometown? Cheaper. Cheaper. Cheaper, yeah. Cheaper. Yep. Good answer. Good Definitely answer. more... It was less nerve wracking. Oh, maybe it was a little more nerve wracking because I could see my parents in the crowd, and I was like, That's "That." I feel like just playing. If it was a room of like five people and my parents, I'd be scared, more scared to play than for like five hundred people. Yeah, I I was just like the whole time, like you know these songs. We've been doing this for like over ten years, and then I would see someone in the crowd and be like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> this matters. I need to like Is impress everybody." It was just like I don't know, just trying to be like, "Look." Look at how far we've come, or something. And <laughs> look at me now, have, mom. Yeah, have like a whole not all for nothing. <laughs> the song. Does it happen to you too? Yeah, def- I mean, while we were playing right there, I was like, "Don't fucking cry, yeah. don't you cry. Yeah. People are gonna hear it if you cry." <laughs> like, uh, we were playing post party, and it's, this is so full circle because it's like yeah. we started this band like 20 minutes down the road, right? San Marcos is really close, and then you know we've been listening to No Effects forever, and it just it's a, yeah, full circle moment. So I was trying to. Stuff the emotions yeah. down a little bit. Just hearing you like circle in the microphone. <laughs> yeah, I'm all cheesing. Like it's it's definitely like the end of a chapter in the beginning of like a well, new one. Speaking of beginnings, yeah. y'all have played in our fucking house before. Y'all played at like so many underground places in Houston and so many other places in Texas. So like, do you think that that will always be a be a part of Days and Days, like you've played oh, in front yeah, of you so many stop. people, <laughs> so yeah. that always be a part of Days and Days, just like playing for yeah. the smaller groups of people, people that you've always known, supported you. Absolutely, <laughs> we'll stop by House of Jay any, any day of the week. Is, no, yeah. We can't help it, like, it's we, part of we, you. I mean, yeah. after, all is said is, <laughs> after all is said and done, we are legitimately just a couple kids, like, playing music yeah. it still feels like that when we're on this like big festival stage and it still felt like we we're you know in, in the living room at piss house or something it still feels like that same kind of vibe because i could see people like right up front you know it, it doesn't feel any separate or anything i mean i mean you guys are just so genuine it's kind of like unreal i would have to say because it's like when i first entered the scene i heard so much about days and days and things like that and one, me and Johnny, like early days of dating, that was like the first thing he would play for me. That Days and Days Escape from the Zoo. And I fell in love with that, but also I didn't want to just buy all shit and just be like, oh, I'm just gonna <laughs> fucking rock Days and Days after hearing one song. But like for me, I have to get it, I have to feel it, I have to be a part of it. So I have a Days and Days story. So I, at the House of Jay, y'all played, y'all played the House of Jay, but it was that night y'all were in the center of the living room and everybody was just like so close together. And that night, I it brought me to so many tears because I felt like that night I finally understood Days and Days. I listen to your songs, you can hear songs all day, but experiencing that shit and, and seeing people like hold hands and hold each other. I'm back there holding my fucking phone crying and like, don't do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just so much emotion in that fucking room and I feel like that spirit is still in that living room when I walk through. It's just like... I don't know, it's like staging the room with so much fucking real shit. And it's kind of like, I don't know, it, like I don't really see a lot of bands that just make me fucking cry because I see people connecting so deeply. Strangers in that fucking room. People I still fuck with to this day just seeing that show. Like, in a fucking living room, you know what I mean? Everyone was stinky and sweaty, but it was just one of the best experiences I've ever had. Better than seeing anybody on stage at a festival. Oh, man, so, that means the absolute I, world. So I'm sad that you missed that story, but you're gonna you're gonna see it. Fun. I love you guys. I love you too. I mean, like wedding, like oh my yes. god. I'm glad y'all are just a part of everything that. I mean, personally speaking, everything that I've grown with in the in the punk scene, especially in Houston, like. I have y'all's patch now. I'm not. I'm no longer a poser. I earned my stripes. Uh-huh. I can fucking say yeah, that. Face tattoos, though. What's up, man? I mean, someday, someday. Yes. Okay, but just I wanted to say thank y'all for that experience because thank I you. fucking understand. Thank you, my friend, I'm trying not to fucking cry right now. We're together. I can do that. Love it down. I'm saying, I'm like, keep it real. So, <laughs> can we expect another release from Fat Records soon? 
Definitely another release soon. We're going to start recording here in like a few months, depending on everyone's schedule. Um, I don't know if maybe we'll just do this one ourselves. Maybe we'll do it with them. Uh, maybe we'll see. We'll see whoa, how, maybe whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jesse, what are the spoilers about, buddy? Well, oh, sorry. <laughs> Fucking Liz too. Whoops. Pried it out of me. I, <laughs> it was a little teaser. Just a little, just a little bit. like, um, I'm going to say yes and no at this uh, yeah. this question. It could be a split. Uh, no comment. Gonna... No comment on yeah. this one. We'll Thank you. We'll just the here and see I mean... anything. <laughs> but yes, it's just something soon. Something soon, yeah. Something soon, but not maybe from this flat record. Well, so, y'all have a new face clear, so they're not here right now, but tell us about them. Matt. Matthew Wilhelm. from Houston. He's been in the Houston scene for like... Houston. He's been for a long time. Yeah. Like, when Shout we were like Matt. 19 years old, I lived at this punk venue called the doctor's office fucking legendary uh underground venue in houston and i lived there with matt matt actually like set that whole mother up and uh pretty fucking epic so long time friends yes. new addition to the band yes. he just absolutely shreds the bass yeah i mean i uh i think it was one of my last days in new york we had like dinner with him and i was like Oh shit! Because I was like, oh, I need new bases, man, 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 and I was like, oh shit, Matt, you play bass, and he's like, yeah. I was like, you want to be a Daisy Days? <laughs> and he was like, okay. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, okay. hell yeah. So like, oh. I, I always like make the members appear a yeah. bassist, I guess. And it's like, here. That's happened on multiple occasions where we're just like friends with someone, and then it clicks that they can play an instrument, and we're like, oh, do you want to be in this band with us? And now we're six deep. Now your life and sanity for, for, for us. Has been the permanent edition? Uh, it hasn't been that long, right? Uh, a few just like a couple of years? Uh, it'll be two years in... Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, okay. Wait, no, no. A, a year? A year. No, yeah. no, no, no. Because last May, a year ago... No, it'll be two years in October. Jesus. All right, yeah, two yeah. years. You're so right. I was you. totally wrong. I was like, a few months? No. Jesus, time flies. That sounds I mean, like it's, it's, it's been good. Untoxic. Yes. Yeah, Matt's like... I didn't even realize it. It's when. nice when you have the likes of Whitney and I yeah. kind of like... We're both Leos, if that makes a difference. We're both kind of manic and depressive off and on. But to have like Megan and Matt, two of just the most even keel, just absolute pillars of people, really helps to keep everything moving. That's good. <laughs> I do have a knack for uh, getting bass players. I have a knack for like getting bass players. Well, got it. I think you should like give everybody else that good luck charm too. <laughs> Just go around and be on TV. Do you need a bass player? I think you want. Let's go. <laughs> Just like a bassist dealer, you know? Yeah, right. Catch <laughs> bro. But my only fan. I mean, I'm pretty excited. I asked me how to protest this question, so we're obviously all huge fans of Real Fans. Final tour. We've come to this point. How are you guys feeling tonight? You think you're gonna get emotional about oh, that tonight? Absolutely. I, I, again, I, Bessie. Yeah. Waterworks over here. I, call me Niagara Falls. I cannot. Yeah. Keep my eyes dry. Yeah, it's super. I mean, it's obviously bittersweet. Like we got. Yeah, it is. We're lucky we got to like hang out with them and work on stuff with them before they, you know, decided to hang up the boots. But like, it's the end of an era, right? Why? What do you? Have to do? No, I mean they're they're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Like, After we were done, I don't it. fucking okay. I don't trust nobody, and I don't trust nothing. So that's the thing. No, I mean, shit. I could die tomorrow, and that would have been my last fucking no effect show. So I'm not. No, I'm not calling nobody anything. I just think life is weird, and it just. I mean, things come and tomorrow. go, or they if it come back nice, again, and like. I mean, I'm not. I'm not betting on that. This is their last show. So, like. But I mean, spoiler alert! I no, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually booking from them now. <laughs> no, but like, you know. Yeah, yeah. And if not, like their representation of themselves musically is gonna be spread out in different ways, which is yes. way fucking like I don't know. In the broader scheme of things, like evolutionary. Like, Forty years is crazy, it's, though, dude. Yeah, it's Forty years is awesome. It's fucking awesome. I'm proud of them. Oh, yeah. Four yeah. years of influence and fucking getting to know yourself I mean, through these yeah. fucking guys. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm glad to be here and experience that with you. Yeah. It's gonna be a treat.
I must much say. But I appreciate y'all for talking to me. Yeah. And Thank the you. weather is going to get bad at yeah. uh, <laughs> 8 to 9. My mom wants everyone Looking to forward know. to it. Yes. But yes, I appreciate y'all for talking to me. And Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Johnny. That's it.